Charles is in town a little bit earlier this year. He made a stop in Tupelo to take pictures with families for a good cause. All the proceeds that Santa makes goes to the regional rehab. WTVA's Elisa Anderson went to Thompson Street Apothecary to tell us what kids have on their Christmas list this year. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Lines were long at the Thomas Street Apothecary today. Families wanted their chance to take a picture with Santa. The Lunsfords were one of those families. Yeah, well, we heard about uh, Santa coming uh, to Thomas Street Apothecary, and so we wanted to get a picture. Be here. I'm pretty excited about Santa this year. This is the second year owners Jamie and Natalie Gunnels have held photos with Santa. All proceeds go to regional rehab. Three of the Gunnels' children received treatment at the center. Therapists there, they're, they're just, they receive state of the art training and um, state of the art professional development. And um, my children just thrived there and it helped them so much. And they want to give back to the organization that gave their family so much. So we just wanted to um, have a creative way to give back to them because we know that they do operate off of donations and that the services are free for parents. The best part of John Sawyer's day? Hey, me. Santa's lap. Santa will be at the apothecary every Friday and Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The weekend before Christmas, Santa will be taking pictures Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The apothecary will also have sensory Santa for children with special, special needs. You can find the date and time for those special sessions on their Facebook page.